Hey, it's Tammy T. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. Hit subscribe and hit like for me. Thank you for joining. Today, I want to talk about how your daily rituals can help your life. Many of us have habits and rituals. Some good, for some are also bad. It's the positive rituals that will make a difference in your life. For an example, some of the rituals that I try to do daily is scripting or journaling, and I'm writing down what I want to happen in my life. I am an author. I am a licensed social worker. My YouTube channel is growing. I am speaking over my love life and the things that I desire to come to pass. So this is one important part of my daily life. I also really believe in juicing. Um, I do a spinach, blueberry, cucumber juice. Something about that juice blend, it gives me good positive energy. It helps me focus. It helps give me mental clarity. Another thing I do is pray. I have some special prayers that a dear um, friend of a friend gave to me. And my desk at work, it faces the east. So I'm looking at those prayers and doing, I am doing them while I'm at work. I also do some at home. I just talk to God throughout the day. And you know, that's my belief. It's whatever you believe in, but this helps me stay focused. Among some other um, rituals that I really believe in is reading positive readings. And I do watch some YouTube videos. I have to do all of these things to try to stay in a good place. And, you know, just to be honest with you, some days I still struggle a little. I've struggled with depression in the past. And over the last few years, I've been doing really good overall. But as of this year, I've had some rough patches. So some relationship stuff that's caused me to really stumble and fall, just to be honest. But I fight every day to stay in a good place. And I would say more than not, I am doing okay. I'm doing good. But I have some rough days uh, here and there. And it's okay. Shows I'm very human, just like you. But whenever you do struggle with depression, if it's real severe, I want you to always solicit help and always go to a therapist. Or even if it's really bad, go to the hospital and, you know, get some help. You know, for me, Mine is not clinical, it's situational, and I can talk it out and do everything I just named, and it pr pretty much will keep me in a good place. But I want you to do some rituals that could help you, things that you can do every day and expound upon them. I'm now doing more affirmations, talking out loud, and um, these things really work. You really do feel better about yourself. It's what you tell yourself every day. That's who you become. And sometimes we've been beat up or beat down so bad as teens and youth that as adults, this stuff has to be reprogrammed. And they always say it's 21 days. It takes 21 days to form a habit, be it good, be it bad. So incorporate that into your life. Do some things that will help you feel better about yourself be better and attract better to you. And I will say this about anything in life. A lot of it comes from gratitude. When you're grateful for your legs to walk, grateful for your eyesight, grateful for your family, your friends, your income, your air conditioning in your house, your heat, your transportation, all of these things are going to produce great results. I had a dear cousin passed away suddenly today. My cousin is in his 50s. He was out for a summer day, you know, doing some yard type work or gathering up some wood. And he passed out from a massive heart attack and passed away. And my cousin was a beautiful soul. So I say that to you on this video to let you know that we don't have any time to waste. We have to try to take care of ourselves health-wise, take care of our mind, body, soul. I always say that. And be kind to each other and do things that will keep you 
in a good place with social media, with the news and the negativity that's out here. It's easy to get caught up in some toxic situations, but you want to protect your mind and feed it with good things. Feed your body with good things. Surround yourself with good people. So I hope something I said in this video helps you. Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, social worker. I dedicate this video to my beloved cousin, Joseph Bernard Walker. Rest in heaven, my brother. And it's an honor and a blessing to be your first cousin. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.